the idea there was to maybe um, follow some young children at what we call primary school here in New Zealand. These were five-year-old children at the start of the study. The idea was for the next six years to take samples from their mouths and see what we could grow. And you'd be surprised what you can grow from the mouths of young children. What we found was that of a hundred children we were following for this um, six-year period, ten of them, ten percent of those children, did not throughout the whole of the six years of the study actually get a strep pyogenes infection. They didn't get strep sore throats. Now that that seemed odd. I mean, it seemed more than odd. That seemed maybe an invitation to look at their other bacteria they had in their mouth. Could they have some normal friendly bacteria there that might help explain why they were not getting streptococcal sore throats? Now, as we looked at the mouths of those children and the populations of bacteria from those children, something stood out that bacteria called Streptococcus salivarius seemed possibly to hold the answer. We found that each of those 10 children had Streptococcus salivarius bacteria in large numbers on their tongues, and that's where this bacterium lives, on the human tongue, and the, the Streptococcus salivarius that they had on their tongues were very special because they produced bliss very strong bliss molecules that killed Streptococcus pyogenes. And that really was, I suppose, the, um, the key moment when we identified that the organism that was offering protection to those children, natural protection to those children, was, a was in fact a friendly Streptococcus, Streptococcus salivarius, and that amongst that sort of tribe of friendly bacteria, some of them were armed, if you like, with their special weaponry to kill other bacteria. Now, why Streptococcus salivarius produce these bliss is to make more space for themselves, to give them a competitive advantage when they're sort of trying to grow in competition with other bacteria on the human tongue.